Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare features a split screen co-op mode exclusive to Xbox. I was treated to a demo of this game mode. Brian, split screen co-op is exclusive to Xbox One and we've got Justin and Gary from the team demoing the game behind us here. Can you just explain what's going on? Absolutely. So they're about to plant their garden, and once that garden is planted, the mode is going to begin. So the point of the co-op mode in Garden Warfare is to pick a garden and defend it against endless waves of zombies. These are customized versions, so the Ice Pea Shooter is, is one of the customized variants of the Pea Shooter. He shoots frozen peas as his weapon, so he actually can slow down and freeze zombies when he hits them. And then the Cactus is a fire cactus, and that actually does a little bit more damage than the regular cactus, because it does fire damage over time whenever he hits a zombie. What other types of zombies are you going to fight in this mode? So there's going to be a lot of different boss-type zombies that show up later in later waves. Uh, we have this feature called Zomboss Slots, which is actually a slot machine that spins and actually chooses the boss characters that are going to appear every say, four to five waves. So that's a tombstone. That's actually, it's like a spawner for zombies. So that'll appear somewhere in the map and they'll have to take that out. The middle one's a, a new type of gargantuar that we've created for Garden Warfare called a Giga Gargantuar. And the last one, they actually got a little bit of a coin bonus, so they got some extra money, so it actually rolled in their favor this time around. There's uh, Gary in the drone again, shooting down at the, the Giga Gargantuar. He's a little bit different. He has the electric pole like a regular Gargantuar, uh, but it actually shoots electrical pulses, and it's really powerful and dangerous. So Justin and Gary are playing with the Cactus and the Pea Shooter, but what's your favorite combo? Well, the Cactus and the Pea Shooter is a really good offensive combination. I usually like to have at least one Sunflower on the team because that's going to help you with healing and so forth. But we have something called Boss Mode that actually helps sort of offset the, the lack of a sunflower. Boss Mode works on both on Smart Glass as well as on Connect using motion control. Okay. So you can use your television basically as the top-down map and use your hand and, and collect and drag and drop abilities using, using Connect. Cool. But we really like to use it as Smart Glass because it allows somebody sitting next to you to really get involved in the action. When you are in Boss Mode playing in co-op, you're actually spawned in a flying RV that sort of circles around the battlefield. The fiction is that you're playing as Crazy Dave, helping the plants down below. <laughs> And so by doing so, you're actually collecting sun, and then you have a no number of different abilities that you can use to deploy out to the battlefield. What can you drop onto the battlefield? So one thing you can drop are spotting stations. These will actually spot enemies any near, any, anywhere that are near the, the base or, their, or your teammates and okay. kind of show them on the HUD as well as on boss mode. We also have heal stations, so this helps to keep your teammate kind of he healthy and alive while they're fighting. So you can drop these right down by the base or wherever your teammates are. Uh, the one that my favorite is is actually to call in airstrikes. And so it's a big cherry bomb strike. You can drag and drop that out into the battlefield. And if you've got a cluster of enemies down below, they'll get taken out by big exploding cherry bombs. And then another one that's really handy is the resurrection. So players, if one of your teammates goes down, can be revived within, say, you have about 15 to 20 seconds to get to them and get them back up. But if you have a teammate that can't get to them, if you have boss mode, the boss can actually drop a resurrection station right next to them and get them right back up and fighting. So this mode ends when both players bite the bullet? Yep, so if both players go down and neither of them can be revived, either by the boss or anyone else, uh, the timer runs out and, and you actually lose the mode. The other way you can lose the mode is if your garden is destroyed. So remember, the, the real goal of this is to defend your garden for as long as possible and keep alive while you do it.